Oh my gosh, why would anyone want to grow plants indoors? It uses all this electricity and costs you all this money when the sun is free. We're going to talk about that coming up. So to put this all into perspective here, I'm going to talk about two things real quick. One is growing heads of lettuce and the other is growing my dwarf Cavendish banana tree indoors. And the first thing I'll talk about is the lettuce. In a previous video, I grew eight heads of lettuce in a grow tent and all I used was these QG LED light strips right here. These are 75 watts in total for, for both of them together. And if you think about how long it takes lettuce to grow, which is around 30 days, um, at 14 hours of lighting per day, it, for 30 days, it costs $1.7, so $1.70 in electricity. Uh, that's, a, that's a total of 31.5 kilowatt hours. My electricity costs 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour. So in 30 days, I grew eight heads of lettuce easily. You can actually grow probably twice that with the amount of light that those strips put out. Um, but it was only eight total for my experiment that I was doing. But still, you can't go to the store and buy an entire head of lettuce or eight entire heads of lettuce for $1.70. And not only that, but since you're growing it inside, you have controlled conditions. You don't have to worry about pests, uh, maybe fungal gnats, maybe if you're growing it in the soil. But for the most part, you don't have to worry about pests, diseases. You don't have to worry about those E. coli scares because, you know, when lettuce is, when lettuce is farmed and it can be contaminated and you can get E. coli. We've had those E. coli scares before. I'm sure you've heard them on the news. Well, if you grow it inside and grow it yourself, you don't have to worry about that. So... At $1.70 in electricity growing, let's say you can go t grow twice that much for, with 75 watts, 16 heads of lettuce. Wow, that's a lot. You can feed a lot of people with that for really cheap. Um, and if you're growing hydroponically uh, without soil, if this, you know, because soil can be more expensive than hydroponics depending, you're saving a lot of money. And you don't have to worry about going outside to tend to anything. It's just a lot of good things about it. The other thing is growing my banana tree. I'm only growing it with the $10 pie tin grow light that I made. I actually did a video. We'll link it up here. And that's about 38 watts. So I've been growing it. I think it's been a little over a year now. And that's pretty much all I've been using to grow it. And that is costing me so far per year $10.50. So an entire 12 month period of that light being on, it's only costing me $10 in a year. There's I don't think there's anybody who can't afford that. And not only that, you're growing something that you otherwise could not grow outside in this climate anyways. This is Northeast Ohio, so let's get real. You're not gonna grow a, that type of banana tree. I do have uh, Musa Baju. I'm not really sure how you're exactly supposed to pronounce that. I do have those trees growing outside, which are basically a perennial. They'll come back every year, but they're never really going to produce bananas. Um, unless you can keep one of them alive over winter, which is really difficult. I am working on that. If, uh, if you want to follow my channel, I am planning on posting a video the next spring to see if that uh, banana tree actually survived. I am trying to protect it to see if it works out. But um, I will be posting a video in the, ne in the coming spring to see if it worked out. Um, so that's really about it for this video. I just want to talk about that real quick because there's a lot of people who are discouraged by growing stuff inside because they think it's going to cost all this money in electricity and it really is not at all. It's very cheap. And in some cases, yeah, it could be expensive, you know, depending on what you're growing. If you're growing very large plants, and you need a lot of light and using hundreds and hundreds of watts. That's a different story. But in most cases, if you're just trying to grow some, some basic things in your house, uh, even, even some taller plants don't necessarily need that much light and you can grow them just fine. So hope that helps. That's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one.